Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. Uh, interesting fact that I've noticed that the guy we're fighting, the Duke of Thingy, of friend Thingy, is betrothed to my niece, my brother's daughter, which is interesting. Fortunately, it's not going to go well with her, I might piss off my other brother who's over there. Also, um, there's a lot of rebellions going on, you probably noticed in the last episode. Um, yeah, this rebellion... Uh, independence war, civil war, another rebellion, second so revolt for that, and there's a big war going on for Northumbria, like a look, I think this guy's the strongest, he's getting attacked by lots of people, and big alliances, and this guy has a theocracy for some reason, which I'm not exactly sure why. Also, the great big Umayyad dynasty, which is getting very powerful. Is a claim of van, so I don't know how they got that, but okay. <laughs> and the Asturias guys are not in the great position. They have one vassal, like one county vassal. So yeah, the Visigoths ain't gonna do too well. Um, yeah, we have a force on the way, and we're going to attack Franconian army. You should easily be defeated. There's a big Viking revolt going on as well. There's a big, big chunking, big, huge revolt. Abbasid dynasty is getting huge. The Radistan, Red Indian people are attacking everyone. Not to mention the old horse lord people, which is over in the east. And the eventual threat from the sunset DLC. If you don't know, I do have that DLC on, so we're going to end up seeing them. Hopefully, they won't be attacking me. <laughs> So that kind of suck. Alright guys, we're gonna go kill these bricks. I've got my son leading the charge, Roderick. Alright guys, let's go kick their ass. Alright guys, we're about to engage them. I don't think they can run. They can run, but they can't hide. Alright, send this guy leading the charge, you some stupid dickhead, he's gonna die. The archers are fucking over and the cavalry just killing all those guys. Archers are finishing them off. And then the cavalry just goes in to finish them off, nice. Easy battle. What's this? Dutch your balloons, no. Um, they're gonna run for it, so we're gonna go to the capital and besiege it. That's another place, wait, what's this? Uh, wearer. That doesn't interrupt my claims or anything, which is kind of annoying, but, um, yeah, this guy. This guy, where is he? Yeah, he's a bit. Oh man, it's capital, and there he is. Yeah, Robert may eventually die, he's possessed, but <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Drinking some Sprite, actually. Here they are. He's been poorly educated by this um, woman. Her brother's actually um, that guy, the guy we were fighting earlier. I just noticed that one of the person, one of the people I gave a land to. Uh. Oh, a new grandson, okay. What do we name him? I've got the faintest of clue. Um, Charles, because he's the king. No, um. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, it's gonna be Game of Thrones and. Somehow, should we rob? I don't, I don't know. Rod, that kind of sounds weird. I don't know if I like that. John, but we name another kid, John. Uh, Eddard, Eddard Kippet. That's not too bad. This might be our future heir, so the, eventually we're eventually gonna play as this guy. So I'll name Eddard then. 
Sorry, but see if he dies. <laughs> Hopefully not. Ooh, that's not a bad marriage. King Tyler, that's a Scottish. And yeah, that's a good marriage. Keep on good terms with the Collins. Where is this guy? Okay. Fuck yourself, bitch. You. Just kill who? Just my kill. She should stop a plot. Don't really care. <laughs> Be honest, there's some. Turkish, Turkish. Um, uh, these guys over there actually. I thought they were part of the. Uh, I don't know what it's called. You know the Abbasid lot, the bloody the uh, Arabians in the west somewhere. Right, do you look here? The best charge, the best idea is to go. March on Wurzburg, so we're going to march there instead. So slaughter the last of these guys, hopefully that will defeat their army. Yeah, I don't really care about them. Commander, okay. He's a commander though, but I'll take his offer. I hope they the death of my um, guy, hopefully. I think we're at peace right now. Oh, he's part of Bavaria. Yeah, this is a capital, he's not a war of anyone. Yeah, this guy rebelled against him, and I think he captured him or something. He is inside, so we should be able to capture the dickhead and kill him. And then we can get those bit of lands. Whether or not we kill them is debatable. Not 100% sure on that. Once we've taken this, this will be the, our victory. We should have. We would have killed them. We would have won, really. Bit of fort in case we get some. I don't know. I've got a cold, by the way, so if I sound a bit weird, it's thanks for the bloody cough. Cold, cold, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't really care, really. Uh oh. They have not meant to take it, so oh, we'll skip ahead until we've uh, taken thingy, taken, taken Wurzburg, whatever the fuck it's called. Hey guys, we'll cut back when we've taken it. Fall of the Avards. The Avar Kargano was established in Europe in 567 after the Avars had migrated into the Carpathian Basin from the east. They crushed the Gepids and allied. With the Lombards to form a strong realm in the, in the air for long periods, they, they alternated between conflict and truce to the Eastern Roman Empire and had close teams with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this one proud realm has fallen. The area is no longer ruled by an avid in the sea and shall once again be known by the ancient name Panoria. Ah. So that is um, gone, apparently. Oh, this guy. Oh, these guys used to rule that. Okay, that's weird. Alright, that's that over and done with. Gonna you know, suck with them, I guess. Alright, um, new kingdoms will come to form rise, I guess. Alright, guys, we need taken this place. And we have taken it. Nice. 72%. Is there any other foot? Yes, there is. Alright, guys, we'll have to go all the way across uh, West France and hopefully we can get them. Hopefully. Maybe cut here. Alright, guys, um, we're cut back. We'll skip ahead when we attack them or the war's over. Alright, guys, till then, I will see you later.